Hey there. Hope you guys are doing okay today. And uh, Cormac is feeling hopefully hopefully better. It's nothing too serious. Um, so in today's video lesson, there's uh, two things I want to go over. Um, one being uh, audiation exercise, and number two, just to do a checklist um, to make sure we didn't miss any of the twinkle variations. I know we've been going, going we've been kind of going through them the uh, the last couple of lessons, making sure that we get all of our ducks in a row with that. Um, but I just wanted to make a list just to make sure I wasn't going to miss anything or miss any of the any of the uh, variations uh, in that set. So cool. Uh, let's just go down the list. So first thing is um, audiation exercise. Um, I remember last time um, that you were mentioning that. Uh, that Cormac will get, like, the, he'll get the melody and then um, sometimes it goes poof, um, which is totally normal. It happens. It happens to me. Um, uh, if you ask me to play my graduate recital, I couldn't right now because I, I forget. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> uh, and that's just because I haven't played them in years. Um, now, when I go back to work, when I go, if I go back and look at the music, I can, I can figure it out and it won't take me very long to go through it. But that's just kind of like the nature of the beast in terms of music is that, um, if you don't lose, use it, you lose it. It's the same thing as language. Um, uh, there's times when I'm studying my Chinese or I'm having a conversation with my teacher and I literally forgot the word for countertop. Like, I learned it, I know it, um, and if she says it to me, I go, oh, oh right, that's what it is. Fu um, uh, if you're curious. But, um, but, uh, but there's times like if I don't use like certain vocab or if I, in music, if I don't play a piece for a while, I literally forget how to play it. Um, totally normal. It happens, <laughs> um, but, uh, but for, for there are things we can do to hedge our bets a little bit, so that way you don't lose it so quickly. Um, is uh, one being an audiation drill, and this is like something that you probably do. You just didn't know what it was called. Um, it's like literally getting a song stuck in your head, and how do we program our brain to kind of like do that? Um, and my son, my son works on this too with his with his music teacher over at Music Together. Um, they do this drill. It's in a different way. Uh, ram, uh, ram. But the real word version is a uh, ram, sam, sam, a uh, ram, sam, sam, booty, 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 and then they'll do a uh, ram, a uh, ram, and then you kind of you can't you're almost like forced to hear that next part in your head, and that's sort of like the 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 the. Yeah, the idea of this exercise is that it kind of forces you to hear like the note inside your head and kind of know where it is. Um, other added benefit for doing it with guitar too is that um, say you have like a string of um, is say if you have a string of notes and you remove like one of them, sometimes what will happen is like it was like a chain reaction will like, kind of fall apart. But what we want to do is we want to train so that way like, if we miss something, um, we just kind of know like where to pick up. And this is a dangerous thing. It's just, it has to do with like muscle memory. And if you take the muscle memory, if, you, if it's something fails in it and you forget, the rest of it doesn't fall apart. Um, so let's do this and, um, and you can let me know how, you can give me, shoot me a message back and see how, um, how it worked for you guys this week. And we can kind of tweak it as needed. So first thing is um, for the audiation exercise is just listen to the song a bunch. Um, so let's take, let's do, let's do one, let's do Lightly Row um, is our experiment that today. So first thing I want Cormac to do is just to listen to Lightly Row like three or four times um, and kind of like hum along if you can, if you, if you can get him to do that. You know, it's not cool, it's the coolest thing in the world, but um, uh, you can maybe even get him to say the word. So Lightly Row, Lightly Row, flowers growing up 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 right so just that much we don't need very much to do this with so listen to the song and see if you can get him to say the words along along with it if you need me to send the words over to you just let me know i can't remember if i gave those to him or not um so number two is like what we just talked about pick a small section lightly so it's this right here lightly row lightly row flowers growing up 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 right and what we're going to do is we're going to leave one of those notes out, right? Um, and so any note is, is fair game. Um, let's leave out, let's leave out, um, let's leave out uh, B. We're going to leave out the B string. Let's leave this a second string right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play lightly row, but I'm not going to play that note, but I'm going to leave space for it. So it'll be this. Light. Light, uh, light, the row. So do that one more time. Light, light, the row. So you can see right there. Uh oh, back computer. Um, so what I did there was um, I left space for the note B, and in my head I'm trying to hear that. Um, or if you want to say the words before he plays it on the guitar, you just go, okay, what no, what word do you do you say on B? And it's light, the row. So the row. Is the part that you um, is the part that you leave off, 
so it'll be this. Like, like the row in, when you say, at least when I say that, I can't help but hear the other part that I'm not saying in my head. Um, so we have this. Light, light, B, row, you slower. Light, light, B, row. And see if you can do it that. So we do it with that, with, uh, with leaving that note out. So we do it one more time. This time, do it with the word, do it with the notes. untrained musicians um it's, 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 a, it's a it's a skill you can kind of develop but like you know, even my parents uh, other parents they go oh i i know like what we're missing in there I, I can hear that note in my head um even if you don't want to sing it that's fine um but it, i can still hear that i can hear like what's supposed to be in there once you can do that with one note and then you add a second note to it so in this case right here what i'm going to leave out i'm going to leave out the b and i'm going to leave out the second finger on the third string i can't remember what color he has there um, um but anyway i'm going to leave that out so this time what I'm gonna do is light, light, right? Light, light, foul, ing, up, up, up. That's hard to do, maybe you should separate that. Um, so we'll just do lightly row, lightly row, and then flowers growing up, 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 right after that. So if I do this, light, light, just that much, right? And then you take out another one. We're going to take out um, C. So it's going to be this. We're going to leave out the first finger on the on the on the first string right here on the second string. Or sorry, uh, first fret, second string. So we're leaving out B. We're leaving out second fret on the third string, and we're leaving out first uh, first fret on the second string. So we're going to leave these those notes out. Now, do you need to do all these in one day? No, you can pick like one, maybe do the next day, do a second one. I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna go fast forward on how to do it. So then what you do is this. Light. <laughs> See? So in his head, he's gonna sing along. Light. So you leave the space there and in his head he's going to force to hear what the melody is going to sound like so rather than trying to play um all from muscle memory he's going to try to play a little bit of muscle me uh so using the muscle memory initially but then using his inner ear to develop it does this happen in one day like perfectly no um it's like any other exercise it takes some takes a few goes and takes a, takes a little bit of time to, to get down but the payout though is that he'll rely less on his muscle memory go oh wait, what was the first note of lightly row oh okay now i know how to play it um, it's like what happened in here last week, um, where he, he said he did not know the song, or he forgot the song. I would have gave him like two of the notes and then he played it. So I think it's just a matter of like taking muscle memory more out of the equation and put more of the inner ear into it. But that's um, a long-term process and um, in listening to the recordings and things like that. Um, cool. Hopefully that makes you guys feel better. I uh, hope it makes you, you feel better um, about that. Um, if you have questions about the exercise, we can do it more in here next time. Or if you want, you can ask me a question. Uh, or you can shoot me back a message, making sure that you got everything, um, you got the, the flow right on that, uh, on that exercise. Second thing I want to go over today is just the different themes of, um, of uh, Twinkle. Um, I'll play each one of them, and if we're missing one, just make a note, and, I, and we'll go through that one next time. So we has the whole set done. So first one's the theme. That's the first one that you learned. So Twinkle, Twinkle, <clears throat> that one. The second one is Colorado Rockies. Colorado Rockies. Colorado Rockies. Colorado Rockies. Colorado Rockies. Okay. Number three is Colorado Colorado. Colorado 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 And then number three Jack Rabbit, Jack, Rabbit. Jack, Rabbit, 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 Jack, Rabbit. And then, so I believe we've done those. Um, the last one, Ice Cream and Candy and, is a pretty tricky one. Um, we'll probably spend some time in here doing it, doing it next time. Um, uh, ice Cream and Candy and. 
So what's hard about that is called syncopation. It's where things kind of like feel on the offbeat, like it's not where it should be. Um, ice cream and candy. I would start off with just having them clap. I wouldn't even mess with the guitar on this one. Um, ice cream. Is that much? Ice cream and. Ice cream and. Ice cream and candy and. Ice cream and candy and. You know, put him here with a video with me. Ice cream and candy and. Ice cream and candy Get two sticks, you know, same way I do here with my with my um with my uh clavies. Ice cream and candy, ice cream and candy. So cool. So those are the things I want you to work on this week. Um, let me know how the audiation exercise goes. Um, uh, I'm curious if it would really help you guys out. I feel like it will. Um, we can talk more about that in here, and I can help you kind of work with him on that. So cool. Like I said, you got any questions or anything that you want to talk about, I'm more than happy to send a reply video back to me, and we'll go from there. All right. See you all same time next time. Bye-bye.